Hey guys, in this session, we will discuss how to delete nth node from last and given linked list. In order to delete nth node from last, as a first step, we need to identify the node to be deleted. So now I'll take two temporary node references, let's say first and second, F and S, and both are going to point head initially. That means F is pointing to head and S also pointing to head. As a first step, we will move S to n, point, n nodes ahead. Let's say user has given n equal to 3. That means uh, from last, we need to delete third node, that's 15. So now move second node n steps. One two, three. So now yes is going to point the node which contains value 15 initially. So now what we do from here onwards, we move both nodes one step at a time. So now in each iteration, when f moves here, yes moves here. So this continues until yes reaches to last node so that means in next iteration f reaches here s yes, reaches here so when we check we will uh, get out of this iteration whenever s dot next equal to null so once we are out of this iteration the first pointer that means f dot next is the node is the one we want to delete. So what we have to do, we need to say a, uh, f dot next equal to f dot next dot next. So this particular node next reference we are pointing to this node. So we are skipping 15 here, that's got deleted. We need to consider two more cases here. When head is null, there is nothing to do, just return null. Uh, there could be cases, n is equal to length of the linked list. So in such cases, we need to delete head node. So all we need to do is return this particular node and point this particular node to head. Let's write code now. Create a class, link list, remove nth last node create one inner class you will have two members and one constructor so it's going to take integer and we'll initialize the value to data. Now let's write a method to delete the node. Static returns head node reference back. Remove node takes two input parameters head node and nth value so the nth element from the last node is going to represent n so by default i'm going to return head here head reference and i'll check that if head double equal to null will return null 
So now let's define two temporary pointers, temporary nodes. Node first is going to point to head and node second will point to head. So now as we discussed as a first step, we will move second node to n steps ahead. For i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. So now second equal to second dot next. So we are moving second node to n node. There are a couple of conditions we need to consider here. Let's say that the given uh, given input n is more than length of the linked list. We cannot delete anything, so just uh, return head back in such cases. So if n, I mean, let's say that uh, n is already reached. Uh, okay, n or um, the condition can be second dot next is already double equal to null. That means we have not reached yet, but uh, uh, second dot next value is null. We want to return head reference. We cannot delete anything in such cases because length is more than, I mean, n value is more than length of the linked list. Let's say that n value is uh, same as linked list link, length. So in such cases, we will write one more condition if i double equal to n we need to delete head node in such cases that means we need to return next node from head head dot next return head dot next A small correction here since uh, we started i value with 0 so we need to consider i double equal to n minus 1 so now once we are out of for loop the second pointer is moved to n steps ahead so now from here onwards we need to move both pointers one step at a time now let's say while and what is the exit condition here? On second dot next, not equal to null, we will iterate. The moment second dot next is null, we will get out of this loop. Second equals to second dot next, first equal to first dot next. So once we are out, the first node is pointing to, I mean first node dot next is pointing to the node we want to delete. So now what we supposed to do? To delete, we need to say first dot next equals to first dot next dot next. So we are skipping the node next to first so that it has got deleted. Let's write a, write a main method to test this. Before that, um, write a simple method to print the linked list. Static void print list. While head not equal to null. head dot data yeah 
So now let's write a main method. I'll copy it from our previous examples. And let's call remove node. Let's say we want to delete third element from last. So now what we are doing here, we created multiple nodes n1, n2, n3, n4, n5 and each node is pointing to its next node. That means n1.next pointing to n2, n2.next pointing to n3 and so on. So here we are just printing, this is a new line and here we are calling remove node and passing head and we are saying that from last we need to delete third node. So this method returns head and we are storing it into n1 here n1 is head now again we are printing it let's run and see the result we got into infinite loop i might made some mistake somewhere let's figure out Okay, I got it. So inside while loop, we didn't uh, proceed to next node. Let's run one more time and see the result. Yeah, so now this is the link list 10, 45, 56, 12, 78. And our ask is delete third node from last so here the third node is 1 2 3 56 and if we notice the third node 56 has been deleted and 12 is at this place thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel